what is up everyone welcome back to my channel it's vanna and before we get into this video please go ahead like comment subscribe turn on post notifications all that good stuff to keep up with me because trust me you are not gonna want to miss me yeah okay anyway. so on today's video i am showing you guys how i got this hair to look like this how i got it to go from blonde to this basically my process and all that good stuff installing it and putting it in my head please keep watching and i hope you guys enjoy i'm just showing you guys the wig when i got it and pretty much everything that came in it you get two wig caps and care instructions I'm using Hawaiian Fire by Kiss. This is what I used to dye my hair and I got two bottles of this. I'm filling up my sink because I am dyeing this hair via watercolor method. I think that's the name of it. I'm putting the dye inside of the sink super aggressively because low key, this is a workout. Trying to squeeze dye out of a bottle is hard. It was not easy at all. Stirring that up, making sure I get all of that in there. All my money's worth is in that sink. That's pretty much what I'm doing at this point. Now we're gonna go ahead and dip that hair into the water with all the dye and everything. This part is super repetitive. I just pretty much dip the hair into the water and repeated that step until I got the color I kind of liked. Now I'm taking the second dye and I'm squeezing it sort of on the hair and in the water at the same time. I just want to kind of make sure that I get that color really on there because it really wasn't looking like, you know, a color I like. It's pretty light. I want it to be a very deep color. I'm just trying to make sure I kind of rub it in on the hair at the same time while dipping at this point. Just to make sure we get the color, well the color I like. So now I'm just rinsing this hair off with conditioner. You can use any conditioner. I'm sure it doesn't matter. You probably could use shampoo too. I don't even know. I'm just using conditioner and making sure we get any leftover dye. It all goes down the drain. Make sure you drain that hair. You see, you saw that squeeze? That's a deaf squeeze. Squeeze. So for this part, I don't even know why I blow dried it. I just left it in because I thought it was pretty cool. But I ended up just letting it air dry overnight because filming this, I think it was like super late. And I was like, girl, I'm gonna go to bed. So I didn't even finish blow drying it. I got it like semi dry. But look at that, boom, boom, boom. But I do really like the way this hair color turned out. I think it was very pretty. It had like little highlights going on. I feel like I really did some, even, even though like the watercolor method was super easy. It came out really nice. Definitely would do it again. I'm gonna show you guys a little chart on the side over here of what the color would have looked like and blah, 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 you know. I'm sure you guys can tell I'm not very informative. Now this is me attempting to bust apart and really I could have just left it be because I didn't do anything, but I tried. For this clip, I really had my chunky hand in the way for most of it, but I'm just trying to pluck those hairs, get a clean part because the middle part was kind of, it had a lot going on. But here, I thought about you guys. I was like, let me zoom in just to block it again. But at least I'm showing you, you know, you see a little bit of movement where I'm doing pluck, pluck, yeah, pluck, uh huh, pluck. <laughs> okay, let me stop. So 
so here i was really trying to be a stylist for you guys i was like let me put a little some curls i was like oh, let me do some curls on this wig and i quickly realized nah sit down sit all the way down because what is that what that's not even a curl so i was like forget that let's go ahead and straighten this wig but i was like let me let me do it nice let me take my time i was like let me go section by section for you guys and flat iron it so it can look nice then i told myself who are you kidding let's just go ahead and straighten this wig so i just took chunks and started straightening it straightening it is that a word I just took chunks and I was, you know, straightening the hair. And as you can see, it did a little bit. It did a little bit. Cause look at the other side. It's kind of puffy. It was doing something. It wasn't totally bad. But no, the hair really did turn out good. Now we're gonna go into ultra speed. Y'all ready? Let me hit it. Let me hit you with this. Bow. Because look, who wants to watch? A tutorial in normal speed when you can watch it in this speed and look how much more satisfying that is look at that little curl i don't know what i was what i thought i was doing but don't worry I, I got rid of it the hair looks nice it looks silky kind of but if you want to take your time and go section by section i recommend you do it do it that way because was this hair bone straight no it was not and that's because i didn't take my time Hello. So today we're going to be installing the pink unit over there in the corner. You can't see it, but this is the lovely face that will be receiving the install. Mad about tea. Subscribe. She's putting got to be gel on my hair. She's doing this a little different versus doing the ball cap method because y'all see my hair. I'm, I don't really need the ball cap method to be honest but pretty much she's slicking that hair back with that got to be gel and then she is going to blow dry my hair back for me in just a second so we can keep it nice and flat in the front just in the front the only thing that sucks about this is the foundation yeah she puts that directly on my hair and you have to rinse that out because you don't want to be sitting there looking stupid with foundation in your hair. So, but this method she did is nice. And she's also putting foundation on this wig because the wig is kind of light. So you need it to really be your, oh, ta-da. Again, like I was saying, you need it to be your skin color. Now we're taking that got to be again. And guess what? We're going to apply it to the edges again. I'm letting her do this install for me because she's way better than me. If you watch any of my videos, I'm a hot mess. So now that she put that got to be on my edges, she's blow drying it to kind of make it tacky so we can try to get that wig to lay down on my hair. You know, got to be glue is pretty good. It's not like super, super glue, but it'll hold the wig down like so. I repeat this two more times because I know you see them sides flying away. We broke it down into sections. We did it into three sections. The part she's doing now and then the two other sides, which was which is kind of more easier, but that's how she applied it. So we're going to do that step again. Ta-da! I'm all laid down on all sides. Now we're doing those baby hairs. She's taking the hairs out. This wig said it came with baby hairs, but it didn't. We had to create our own. She's cutting the baby hairs because you do not want your baby hairs to be all the way down to your shoulders. You want them to be like baby hairs. And don't don't put the hair in people's eyes or don't put it in your eyes. She filed for that. This is how she did my edges. They look beautiful. Do yours to your likings. And that's the look. Handle it from here. Okay. Okay, guys. 
This is the hair, and this is what it looks like. This is 150 density. It is very thin. I spent this much on this wig. Realistically, I feel like this wig was super affordable. Is it the best? No, but I do think this wig is very much beginner friendly, and I really do like it for that. It said it was 18 inches, but this is not 18 inches. In my opinion, like, 18 is a little bit longer. Like, am I, I don't know. It's human hair. That's pretty much, I feel, all you need to know about this wig. I will have it linked if you guys wanna get it or whatever. I dyed this hair myself, which you guys will see, obviously. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. All right, guys, I will catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.